Hello, my name is Andrew Lemon from the Edge Software Consultancy. Today I'm going to be showing you one aspect of the Barrel's Electronic Lab Notebook. This relates to the working with images within the system. Let's start by reviewing the objectives of this presentation. First of all, we're going to write up a molecular biology experiment which works with gel images. And then going to use the annotation features of the Barrel's ELN to annotate those images providing details of the experiment. Finally, we're going to then search that information within the Barrel's electronic lab notebook. Let's start by having a look at Barrel's itself. Barrel's is a web based electronic laboratory notebook. First of all, note that I'm using the cloud deployment of the BioRail system. I've logged in as Dana, who works in the molecular biology department at this biotech. Let's start by creating an experiment. So I'm going to select the user that's running the experiment. In this case, I'm going to use a generic molecular biology write-up template. The template is previewed in the lower section here, so I can see all the sections of the document that are going to be included. And I need to give my experiment a name. And press next. This will create a template study document including all of the materials that we need to write the experiment up. Now I'm going to switch to the electronic lab notebook view of this experiment. This presents all the content of the folder as a document that can be scrolled and viewed. So let's go ahead and start by setting up the details of the study that we're running. I've already got a uh, template write-up that I've been using in Word. So let's just copy and paste the sections into the document. So first of all, I'm going to grab the title. I click the edit on the section and I can fill in the title for the experiment. I can either do that by just writing in this section or by copy and pasting from Word. So here I'm going to write in my name. Study director. And again I'll copy the title here. If I close that section it'll ask me if I'd like to keep those changes. So you can see I've got a logo now and maybe I want to fill out the abstract section as well. I'm going to copy and paste the abstract in, or I could again write it into to this section here. I can also control things like what fonts I'm using and other aspects of this. So let's fill out those. Well then, we've got an introductory section. This section here gives us some, some metadata about this experiment. So if I edit this section, you can see I can select the discovery project that we're running this experiment for. So we'll call that Z0101. I can pick my study leader. I can also select if it's using a particular species and strain of animal. So in this case, let's say that we're working with the rat, strain 102. And I don't have any comments, so I'll leave that blank. You notice how the form goes green. This means it's dynamically saving back to the database. So I don't need to press um, a save button at the end. So I filled out that section. Again, I can copy and paste the methods and sections. Let me get down to the results section. So the results section is made up of a series of uh, different sections where we're making reference to different images in the system. So first of all, I'm going to copy the introduction. Paste that into this section. you 
you'll notice it makes reference to figure one. Let's close that down. Now I'm going to, through the actions menu, I'm going to add that figure into the document. So here we are, it takes my pictures area in my, on my folders, and I'm going to pull out figure one and save that into the folder. If I flip to the content section here, you can see my figure, figure one arrives at the bottom of the sheet. Now what I want to do is move it up to the results section, so I just drag and drop it above, and you'll see it's now below the results section. If I flip to the document view of this now, and scroll down, you'll note that I have my image on the section. You'll also notice there's this annotation feature. So what I'm going to do now is annotate the image and tell more information about it. So I'm going to add a note. So the first thing I'm going to do is label up all of the lanes. So we'll start with lane 1. lane 2, etc. And I can go around these. You'll notice if I go on the left-hand side, it'll highlight the annotation that I'm using. Next thing I'm going to do is, uh, is just label up a whole series of these bands, which all refer So these all refer to the same area, showing the presence of the PCR. And again, I can go in and annotate particular areas of this, uh, of this image as required. So let's go back and have a look at the full experiment there. So you notice on this experiment here, I have now have my image. It includes the annotations on the image, which can be cross-referenced to the results section on here. In this way, I can build up the experiment. So let's have a look at one I did earlier on. Here's one I wrote up earlier on. You can see I've got the study title, I've got my logo, I've got the abstract, the introduction, my metadata, materials and methods, and the results section. And again, you can see the, the annotations I've built in here. I've got my res second results section with its image, third. etc. And again, if I want to annotate any of these, I can just click the button and add the annotations. So in this way, we can build up the notebook document. Let's now, let's take a preview of this document. So this is what we'll look like if we, if we print it out. So again, we've, we can see the full document, all of its text, the annotations, we can see the figures and their annotations. We can see any results section images. And these can be printed to PDF or moved into other systems as well. So let's just go back and review what we've seen. First of all, I've shown you how to write up a molecular biology experiment. I've also shown you how to annotate the gel images. The final section now, I'll show you how to search for that data. So we'll go back to our home page. And first of all, we're going to use the search bar here. So let's, let's search for things which make reference to lane one. And you can see there are two image results that refer to, uh, to image one. Let's click the first one. And you'll see it takes me straight to the image. If I want to see it in the context of the full experiment, I just click the experiment above and scroll down to the image section. Thank you for watching this BioRails introductory video. If you'd like more information, visit www.edge-ka.com.